So what's going on folks? I am here at the ATC booth. Now, a lot of my subscribers have asked me to review this specific type of trailer, mainly because it's unique from most travel trailers in the sense that it's all aluminum, at least the vast majority of it. They use a lot of aluminum construction inside of these and they're built very well. So with me, I have Jeff, who's a sales representative with ATC. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Great. So if you could, could you take a moment and kind of explain the methodology behind the construction of ATC aluminum haulers? Yeah, uh, happy to. We're, we're bringing a different recipe really to the RV market than what's been out there. Uh, we've been building aluminum frame race trailers and corporate trailers and all of that for 20 years. And what we're doing is we're taking what we've learned in that business and beginning to branch that out and put it into the RV market. Um, so we're known for heavy duty hauling and that's one of the main things that we do is we give you heavy duty hauling capabilities because as we all know, the toys are getting bigger, they're getting wider, and you can't fit them into most of the traditional RVs. Um, so yeah, the unit that we have here is our most popular unit. This is our 28 foot front bedroom. Um, it stays uh, consistent with our company's philosophies, which basically means that um, complete aluminum construction in our build process. Um, so in the frame is all aluminum, the walls are all aluminum, the ceiling, it has a one-piece aluminum roof, um, and it truly is industrial type strength and long-term quality. Uh, this particular coach, like I said, is 28 foot. It weighs in about 7,400 pounds. It gives you right around 4,000 pounds of capacity. Uh, and almost all of our toy haulers, our bumper pull toy haulers, are half ton towable. This one right here would be between a half ton, half ton and a three quarter ton, uh, depending on your comfort level and such. But uh, yeah, we're, we're allowing customers to be able to haul more with lighter weights anyway. Okay, let's take a look at some of the construction perks. Um, I guess let's start right here at the front A-frame because I see that it is a fully boxed aluminum section that you have up here and you have it reinforced very well also. Yeah, what we did is we use a two by eight all aluminum uh, construction for our tongue. And as you see here, we have a generator that's in the front. What we ended up doing was lengthening our tongue by about 16 inches. And by doing that, it gave us two huge benefits. Number one, it gave us the opportunity to put the generator on the outside of the coach, which means it doesn't take up your interior space, it doesn't rattle, uh, it's not close to you when you're sleeping and so forth. So it's actually outside and we were able to actually recess it down into the, the tongue um, so that way it's completely out of the way. When we lengthen the tongue, it also greatly helps your turning radius. So that's been a, a mm -hmm. big benefit for us as well. So what model uh, Onan is that one? Uh, that's a 5.5. Uh, okay. We use 5.5 Onans on, on everything. That we okay. Do. Great, and can you get this model in dual or single air conditioning systems? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one has dual. It's a ducted dual system in this one. Um, in the models that we provide, we have a 20 foot model, we have a 24 foot model, and then a 28 foot model that all have front bathrooms, and so it maximizes your cargo space. And then this one right here is a front bedroom model, and this one is a 28, and we also offer that in a 25. Uh, and then just next week already, we're announcing uh, we have two brand new fifth wheels that are coming to market. Uh, we've had a 40-foot fifth wheel, which is uh, capable of hauling the four-door Jeep Rubicons, the heavy-duty toys. Um, and we're also going to be announcing now a 36-foot and a 32-foot model as well. That'll be live on our website uh, next week, March 19. We'll have the debut of, of our new models that'll be available. Great. Let's take a look at the inside. Great. Okay, so coming up the back of this toy hauler. Okay, Jeff, you want to take a moment, kind of walk us through this unit, what makes it so special? Yeah, uh, like I said, one of the main things that we do is it's all aluminum construction methods. Um, and you just walked up the ramp door. The ramp door is something that's really important. We actually developed our own ramp door uh, simply because all the other doors that are available on the market have wood inside of them and we chose not to do that. And so this ramp door we developed in-house with our own R&D team um, and we actually have a great video uh, on YouTube showing a 7,000 pound fork truck driving up the ramp door with only minimal deflection. Wow. Uh, so the ramp door is built in-house and it's a complete aluminum constructed door. Great, that is awesome. Yeah, so coming into the back of the trailer, you can see here again, it's all aluminum construction. The floor is aluminum extruded floor with aluminum uh, airline track directly fastened down over top of aluminum studs for cross members, 16 inch on center. Uh, we also use Asdell board on the inside, which is a fiberglass. Love Asdell. Um, yeah, there you go. And the benefit of that is that 
the trailer here is completely waterproof in the sense of after a muddy weekend, the side-by-sides come in. What we tell customers is just tip up the front a little bit and then power wash the entire thing out. You know, keep it away from the electronics. TVs don't like the water and such. But other than that, there's really nothing that you can you can harm by power yeah. washing the trailer out. That is awesome. Yeah. So this one has the happy jack bed in the back. Obviously, that raises and lowers. We've got the sofas at the back. Um, another major benefit to our our production process is we use what's called a common rail um, that goes through the trailer. So there's a three inch stud that goes all the way down this side and all the way down the other side. And what that does is that gives flexibility so that the dealers or the customers can add future components if they so choose. Because all the components that you see here, the sofas, the dinette, those all get installed right into the common rail. So you actually get the flexibility to do what you want there even later on down the road. That's impressive. That is really nice. Yeah. I love the construction here of just everything inside, all your cabinetry. It's very industrial, very contemporary, but at the same time, very sturdy. I mean, yeah. you, you don't have a lot of room for mistakes. And yeah. what I mean by that is traditionally when you look at the wooden interiors on most of the other RVs around here, there's a lot of areas where people can let's just say not practice best quality control. <laughs> right? Well said, better said by you than me, but yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, our, our cabinets, you know, first of all, they have metal latches. And what's nice about the metal latches is there's a positive engagement. And so there's no way that something is going to push against that and open it while you're in transit. Um, the other thing that works really well too is our cabinets are fully um, installed into our full tube constructed frame. And so the strength of, you know, the cabinets um, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. We actually had a woman once uh, show us a YouTube video where she was doing chin-ups on our cabinets. Um, <laughs> it really is industrial strength in that. And we didn't cheap out on the on the countertops either. It's a true solid surface countertop. Uh, we moved over to a big farm sink as well. It seems like everybody likes the big sink to be able to um, do the dishes, get stuff cleaned up, and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, even our dinette over here has the solid surface countertop. And then we also give you some of the largest um, cargo spaces. You know, ATC is known for being toy first, which basically means that we're going to give you the biggest hauling capabilities, um, the heaviest hauling capabilities inside of our, our um, trailers. So this one right here, 28 foot, is really set up for a four-seater side-by-side. Um, and then we have different models that can handle the Can-Ams, the Big Beasts, and so forth. Uh, but we do have solutions for just about every single solu every single toy that people want to bring you know and i haven't asked anything about price yet but what i will kind of comment on is people in the rv industry when they want to shop for a new rv mm -hmm. they get hung up on price yeah. and a lot of times yeah. you know you go and look at let's say an equivalent size and configured toy hauler travel trailer from a competing brand mm -hmm. and you know they're probably going to be in the 35 45 thousand dollar price range and people automatically assume when you get something like this, it's going to be competitively priced. But the reality comes when you improve the quality, when yeah. you improve how this is manufactured. I have no idea how much this costs, but I have an idea that you're paying for higher quality. Yeah. This stuff doesn't come free. It's not cheap. And right. to have parts that are riveted specifically where they need to be riveted, as opposed to some guy running around with a tack gun going, tack, 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 yeah. trying to connect everything, right. this isn't going to fall apart. Right. When you buy this unit, you're pretty much going to have a unit for life. Right. Right. And you're not going to have to get home and say, man, how much PDI do I have to now do on this thing yeah. now that it's in my driveway? How many things do I have to fix? Yeah. When you pay for a higher end coach, you're oftentimes paying for the engineering that went into that coach. What did you say? 4,000 pound capacity yeah, on this? 4,000 pound capacity in this. You know, if you get into our fifth wheels, we're actually in the 10,000 pound capacity yep. um, that you can haul inside of it. But yeah, the price thing is a very important thing and we, we don't shy away from that. And that's because it's about value. It's not mm -hmm. about your initial cost that you're paying. And so explaining to a customer that no we are not the cheapest one but when you start looking at the life cycle of this you start talking decades you don't talk years Absolutely. and so you look at this coach right here what's this going to be worth in a decade or two decades versus if you were to buy something that would be far more price competitive right out of the gate what's that going to be worth in a decade or two decades and then all of a sudden you start looking at it and you realize that spending more actually is cheaper 
than spending less. Yeah. Um, the RV industry is a true example of you really pay for what you get yeah, and you exactly. get what you pay for. Exactly. And we're not for everybody. Not everybody understands what we're doing. And a lot of people, you know, you have to be able to own a travel trailer before and have a year or two of use of it and, and patch your rubber roof, you know, every summer and, and have those frustrations before you realize, oh, wow, there is a different way, you know. But we have a one-piece aluminum roof, so this trailer is 28 feet long we uncoil a 29 foot long sheet of aluminum that's uh, about eight and a half nine feet wide and there is a one piece roof that goes over the entire uh, trailer so it, it really will alleviate a lot of the typical concerns that customers have for the the maintenance that they have to carry absolutely let's take a look at the bedroom and yeah. bathroom real quick yeah I love this control station right here. It has a very industrial look to it, but at the same time, it's very convenient where you placed everything. Yeah. So this is our bathroom. It's got a one-piece shower. Uh, again, solid surface countertops. One of the big things that we do is, it may not show up well in the video, but it is an enormous bathroom. I realized the other day when I was showing it to a customer, I all of a sudden stopped and said, wow, did you realize there's two of us standing in this bathroom while I'm showing it to you? I agree, it is a huge it's bathroom. One piece shower is great. Mm -hmm. A lot of ceiling height too, so that's a big issue. A lot of people ask on my channel, can I fit in the shower? And this, you could be, I mean, honestly, there's no one that's gonna be tall enough to really hit their yeah. head on the top of that. I'm 6'2" and I fit pretty well into the shower. Exactly. And it's an extend shower too, which is nice, so it actually extends out, so it gives you more mm -hmm. breathing room inside the shower when you need it, but when you're not, you simply bring it back in, and now you've got more room inside the, the Plus, bathroom. Plus, a lot of people might say, well, you're 6'2", what if you're 6'4", and you get water in this? Asdell wall. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter, it's water impervious. Yeah. The shower, technically, you didn't even have to put a shower stall in here, because Asdell is that impervious to water. Correct. You could have yep. just, sprayed the wall off correct yeah all right now we're walking into the front bedroom area queen size bed i see yeah queen size bed we've got the upper cabinetry up here um again solid surface countertops uh and then one of the nice storage features in here too is the fact that underneath the bed there's a tremendous amount of storage down there we obviously have our show materials down there now uh one of the customers said we really ought to put a hot tub in there uh, I don't know if that's very functional, but uh, <laughs> there's enough room in there to That is huge, and it's a lot deeper than your traditional underbed storage. Mm -hmm. Plus, because you're using aluminum framing, you don't have the bulky wood framing, which takes up a lot of the room inside there. Yeah, and again, you look at the details, all the way down to, you know, what are we using to frame this in? It's, it is aluminum, you know, and it's got an aluminum outer here. It's got an aluminum um, underside here for the bed. It's got aluminum Asdell. all the way down there on the yep. floor. Asdell again, on both sides. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then over here in this side, we've got a uh, shirt closet over here, uh, and then it's got access to your shower. And another thing that's really nice is you have easy access to your water heater, all of your plumbing when it's time to winterize, everything's right here. Uh, we even include step-by-step -step instructions on how to go ahead and winterize and do all of your plumbing work down there, but it's tremendously easy to access. So how well do these insulate in extreme cold environments? Are they? Are they very well insulated? I mean, I, I'm imagining it's foam insulation in the walls. Yeah. We have we have two options for insulation. We have uh, our standard insulation, just a 3.5 R factor, R value beadboard. And we also do a 6.5 upgrade if you want to do the closed cell. Um, and then in the roof, we have, I think it's a, a fiberglass that's right around 11 or 12 R factor. Uh, for the floor, uh, that is a concern that some of the customers have, but we do have a really nice premium uh, spray and insulation that goes in afterwards, which is phenomenal. Uh, it does a great job of sealing out. Now, we're never going to say that we're a four-season coach. We are a three-season coach, uh, but, you know, if you get out into the elements, you know, where it dips down to 25 at night and you have your three-season package on it and you've got your tank heaters and your liners and so forth, then you're fine, but we really are not advertising that we're for the winter camping experience. Well, the reality is any travel trailer, any fifth wheel, even if you look at a DRV, right, or yeah. you look at any of these large coaches, three inch sidewall still isn't gonna compare to what you right. get in a true home. Right. So you really can't expect a travel trailer or an RV to have the same type of real insulation value right. that a home's gonna have, right. right? They're just designed a little different in yeah. that sense. And if we wanted to do that type of insulation, we could, but then that would compromise uh, the interior storage capability mm -hmm. of the inside. So we have one inch thick sidewalls and that's by design. And that's so that we can fit in the biggest uh, uh, toys that do need to be able to get transported in here. Yep. So final question, I know it's gonna be one that everyone asks and we touched on it, 
What would the MSRP on a unit like this run? Uh, this one, I think, was right around seventy-four grand. Okay. Um, you know, and then uh, it has a lot of the options. It's got the generator, the fueling station. Um, it's got uh, the insulation. Um, it's got a lot of extra features in this one, anyway. Um, but you know, we've got units all the way down the in the um, twenty-foot range where you're going to be in the forties and such. Mm -hmm. uh, so lots of different ways to accomplish. Uh, hauling in an all aluminum uh, toy hauler. Absolutely, and sometimes there's, there's of course discounts and things offered on top of that. But overall though, the construction is where it really lies. The fact that this is built completely different than your traditional travel trailer. And when you get into a coach like this, you have to understand that you will pay extra for that construction because you're not gonna find this level of construction in really any other travel trailer or RV. Anyways, Jeff, I really appreciate your time. It's been great spending time walking through this and finally seeing what these trailers are all about. Yeah, and you can learn a lot more at our website, uh, aluminumtoyhauler.com. We've got a great Facebook page. We've got all kinds of different places where you can go ahead and learn more information. Uh, and like I said, we've got the fifth wheel that's coming out. That'll be March the 19th. Uh, where we're going to have a 36 and a 32. Make sure to check that out. But we're going to have some industry changing uh, capabilities once we, we get into the fifth wheel. It's going to be exciting. Thanks again, Jeff. Thank you. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll keep walking around this show.